Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Pam and this is Cooking with Chef and More. Today we're making a leftover meal. Guys, we've got all this turkey dressing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce left over. Let's do something with it. We're going to make waffles. Cornbread stuffing, waffles, cornbread dressing, stuffing, whatever you want to call it, stuffing, dressing. We're making waffles. Guys, they are amazing and delicious. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, the easy and simple way, all made from scratch, subscribe and tap that bell so you'll always be notified every time I upload another amazing recipe. Guys, let's get in the kitchen and get busy. Okay guys, we're gonna get right into it. And for these cornbread stuffing dressing waffles, we're going to need all leftovers, guys. We need our leftover dressing or stuffing, whichever. You're going to need a few leftover mashed potatoes, leftover gravy, and leftover cranberry sauce. Guys, this is going to be amazing. You're also going to need two eggs, whoopsie, and some cooking oil. Okay, so let's get in it. We're going to beat our eggs and add the dressing to the eggs. Let's make sure our waffle iron is heated up. So I'm gonna close the top right quick. It's all plugged up. Let that get good and hot. Then we'll go ahead and oil it. Beat the eggs slightly a little bit first. Just go ahead and get them beat a little bit. You don't need a lot of dressing because you don't want to overstuff your waffle iron because it'll still ooze out. So we don't want any oozing out. So we're gonna take a couple of big spoonfuls here. Okay, get this mixed in really well. And as you can see guys, I'm just mixing in the dressing with the egg. It's going to help make them really, really crispy. And that's what we want. We don't want any soggy waffles now. Come on now. Mm -mm. Gotta have that little texture across the top. Nice and golden brown. Mm -mm. Ooh, and this smells amazing already because everything is already seasoned. Everything is so seasoned. Oh, this is going to be delicious. I think I'm gonna use just a little bit more of this dressing in here. Don't have to put it all in my waffle mix, but I wanna make sure it's evenly distributed. So this is what it should look like when it's all mixed up. We're gonna wait for our waffle iron to get good and hot, and we'll be right back. Okay, so our iron is hot. Our waffle iron is nice and hot. You just want to pour just a little bit, maybe a teaspoonful at each side. They need to be well oiled. Close the top back down so it can get on the top and bottom. Make sure you got plenty of oil in there, guys, so it won't stick. That's the key to it not. That's the key to it not sticking. We put just a little bit more in here and close this top again. Okay, so now we want to just put our dressing mixture into our waffle iron. Like I said, don't overcrowd it, guys. And it's okay if it doesn't go all the way to the ends, it'll be rustic. Yes. We're going to let these cook, get nice toasted and crispy, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, our waffles are all done. Let's get them out of here. Oh, my goodness. Whew, guys, smell-a-vision, smell-a-vision. We need it. 
Yes, let's go ahead and build this up. Oh my goodness, they look amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes. Ooh, guys, this is an awesome leftover meal. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, they are hot. They are hot. Take a look at them as they are before I build them up. Didn't they come out amazing? Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and next, guys, you want to go in with your leftover mashed potatoes. They have already been heated up. So I'm just using my little scooper thing here. Awesome, 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 guys. Okay, guys. And next, we're going to go in with our gravy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, guys. Yes. This is amazing, amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And last but not least... We're going to top this with our cranberry sauce, guys. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is so amazing. Take a look. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Isn't that amazing, guys? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Now we're going to get ready for our taste test. Okay, guys, it is time for our taste test. Guys, take another look. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, my goodness, guys. Yes, this is absolutely delicious. Quick and easy. And you know what? It's savory, so to speak, outside of the cranberry sauce. So you could have it for breakfast. You could have it for lunch. You could have it for dinner. All right, all right, all right, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to taste the waffle all by itself first. The oil makes it nice and crispy on the outside, and it's still that fluffy dressing texture on the inside. We already know what the mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce tastes like in the gravy because we didn't do anything to those. So let's taste these. We added egg, and we oiled our waffle maker really really well mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 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 lordy 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 mm. this is delicious guys i could have this on thanksgiving or any other holiday <laughs> instead of the traditional dressing oh my goodness this is amazing. Now let's go in. We're going to go in again, guys. Y'all know I'm not through taste testing. Come on now. That was too quick and easy. We need more. We're going to test this, guys, with a little bit of everything on the floor. So we want to make sure we got a little. We want to make sure we have a little cranberry sauce, little potatoes, and gravy on there. And the best part of all, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, well, oh, I didn't offer you all a bite. Come on, guys. Have a bite. Have a bite. You know you want one. Mm. I'm sorry. I lost my manners. I got excited. Mm, mm, mm. 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 You all have got to make this. Mm. Oh, my goodness, Lord have mercy. Mm. Guys, this is amazing. This is really delicious. Mm. Guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So you'll always be notified every time I upload an amazing recipe. Don't forget the thumbs up in the comments, guys. And for those of you all who are already subscribed to me, thank you so much. 
I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, I've got to go eat, so I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing. Mm, mm, mm. And the creek don't rise. Mm. <laughs>